I'm 12 days uh, away from my show and it's Monday morning. I'm pretty tired today. I've just been feeling a little bit um, run down, haven't been getting good sleep. Um, I've been saving this. This is Liquid is the brand. It's a really cool company. This is a keto BHB caffeine drink and it's cherry lime. And it is absolutely my favorite energy energy drink, hands down. Um, got this at KetoCon. Literally decided to pack it and take it home so I can enjoy it when I got home. And I just ordered some on Amazon. I'm gonna start my morning with this. I'm gonna go take a walk and sip on this. It's Monday morning. I'm 12 days out. And yesterday I had my fat refeed. Um, but I was just not feeling well yesterday. I kind of overdid it. My body was just depleted. I actually looked really kind of just flat and skinny yesterday. Um, like my muscle, I mean, I looked pretty cut and everything, but I looked skinny. So um, I think I got super dehydrated. Um, Saturday was just really depleting. Um, so I did a hard, hard, hard leg day and then all the posing and I had a bunch of body work done the day before. So I think my body was just like F you when it came to yesterday. So I tried to go work out and just wasn't feeling it in the gym. So I just decided that, you know, I did a little bit, I did some pull ups, some assisted pull ups and dips. I did some chest. I did some shoulder press, did a little something, but I was not feeling strong at all, so I ended up just walking home um, and eating. So I had a fat refeed yesterday and woke up this morning and I feel like I look a hundred times better. Um, I didn't take before and after pictures, I should have, but yesterday I looked skinny. I looked kind of flat. My muscles were pretty shredded and stuff, but I didn't, I felt like I looked kind of just skinny. Um, so this morning I feel fuller, um, I actually gained about four pounds overnight, um, but that's okay. I mean, that scaled means nothing. I think I just filled out, which is good because like I said, you want to be shredded and lean, but you also want to still show your muscles. So anyways, that was interesting. Um, yesterday I got on a conference call with Ben Pakulski and Danny Vega for their keto muscle intelligence program that I'm super excited to to do. And so basically I've been I've been using their methodology through Danny being my coach already. So I'm gonna jump right back on that bandwagon um, when this contest prep is done to try to build a little bit of muscle and train for the show in October. Um, with uh, that is the NACA show, the, the keto show in Dallas, Texas. So, um, I'm already planning on like how I'm going to train after this, after this event. Um, cause I'm really motivated to continue, um, optimizing my strength gains and my diet and all that good stuff. So it was really interesting yesterday with the refeed. I actually had a really hard time eating that much fat. It was, it was hard for me to get it in. Um, I got really full, uh, and it, it was, it's interesting. I used to think that I crave, I crave that so much more and, um, I'm finding that I don't need so much fat. Um, more the protein. That's really what I was, I was craving. That's, that's something that I find is more satiating for me now. Um, well, Actually, the fat was very satiating. Um, it was it was just really hard to eat. Now I think back to when I've been helping other people start a keto diet, and how they say like, "Oh, I can't get that much fat in. It's really hard." I'm like, "Okay, now I, you know, I can see it a little bit more." Um, I always really loved it, um, but now that I've been eating a little bit lower fat and not, you know, just piling it on. Um, I'm realizing the further you get into your keto diet that you don't need quite so much of that extra fat. So, okay, well, I uh, 
felt terrible yesterday, so I'm hoping that today I slept in a little bit, um, getting a really late start on the day, made sure I got my walk, a uh, very short walk in. Um, I, I had a plan to get up and like do a, you know, a longer walk this morning, um, and maybe go to, go get in the sauna, do some different stuff, but, um, I actually just need to just sleep in, I guess. Um, so I did. Luckily, I have a flexible schedule and can go into work when I need to. And I'm going to take advantage of that and sleep if I need to, get up early if I need to, you know, that kind of stuff. Because this week, it's all about rest, making sure that I am fully recovered, um, maintaining the muscle that I have. Um, so still going to work hard in the gym, but, you know, two weeks from show day, I'm not going to be putting a lot of muscle on. I don't want to lose the muscle I have. So that is going to be the focus of my workouts. Um, lots of uh, um, steady state cardio, walking, um, really just making sure my body and mind are good this week are going to be my focus. Um, that's a just a huge thing I learned from that um, conference call I had with Ben Pukolski and Danny Vega. I am going to work on myself as a whole person and mentally and breathing and quality movement. Um, I'm not going to waste any time uh, it, as far as when I'm lifting weights. It's going to be a good contraction every time um, and that's going to be my focus. So. I cannot believe it. Um, I am so excited. My suit is in the mail. Got shipped yesterday, so cutting it close there. Um, there's a little snafu with a few things there, but um, it should be here. I'm not going to get to wear it today for posing, but um, that's okay. Uh, yesterday, I completely bonked out again, but after work, I just went home and took a long nap. And I think that my blood sugars were kind of low. Um, I probably waited too long to eat. Um, so I ate my dinner. I ate my ribeye and shrimp and stuff. And then I went and worked out in the evening. Um, it was hard. I got in there, did it, but I took a, I did make sure to have a walk yesterday in the morning. Then I had two walks. I walked to the gym and back. So that has actually been my favorite part about prep lately. <laughs> I love my walks. Um, walking has been amazing. It actually has been grounding me. I feel so good about it. So anyways, I had to listen to my body. My muscles actually felt tired and fatigued from just, I don't know, just being depleted and tired. So taking a nap was what I had to do. So I ended up going to the gym late. But I still managed to get in some sauna too afterwards and woke up this morning uh, my ketones were, were good and I had a new low weight. So probably from peeing all night, <laughs> from going in the sauna and doing different things, but 133.6 pounds, that is insane. I didn't know if I'd get that low. So um, we'll see what happens with peak week and it'll be a lot of water, water weight loss, um, but feeling really good today. Yesterday, yesterday I didn't feel so good. Yesterday I was really depleted. Um, today, I feel like a million bucks. Um, I also checked my ketones yesterday and I was a little kicked out of ketosis yesterday for some reason. Um, wasn't as good and I can definitely tell like back in ketosis. So I kind of been going in and out of it, I can tell. Uh, so another great thing this morning, I got to go get my hair done. Got it colored, all freshened up for the show. My hairstylist is the lady who uh, inspired me to do this. So she started bodybuilding a few years ago and I asked her what she was doing and I kind of followed her and I said, that's what I want to try. I'm going to try it. And she really encouraged me. She kind of led me to all the places I needed to go. Um, it was a perfect timing for me to get my hair done by her today because I had lots of questions about show day. So. She was able to answer a lot of questions about the tanning, like 
do I have everything I need? What will they do for me there? Do I need to get glue? Do I need a, you know, all the funny things. And, um, that was really great and encouraging. Um, so today is a crazy day. Got the hair done. Um, I am going to go to work for just a little bit and I have a chiropractic adjustment. Got to keep the body. My body's feeling really good, but, um, definitely looking forward to a, another adjustment. Make sure that everything in my hips and pelvis are good. Um, they are amazingly better this week. So look for that. And then I'm going to go to work again, bang out my work day. And then I have posing practice tonight. Um, and I'm hoping, hoping I'm going to take some photos today just to kind of see where I'm at. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get another in-body done. So we're gonna see where I'm at there. Um, cool thing this morning was got to get on a live with Fit Keto Cowboy and chat with him a little bit. Um, I'm gonna be doing his show, I'm really excited. Sounds like it's gonna be like a combo figure bikini division. So I don't exactly know what that means, but um, he also gave me some tips on a shoulder workout that I'm going to try today, see if I can get to pump on. Uh, so overall, it's going to be a crazy, really busy day, but I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. Yesterday, I did not feel good. I was just exhausted, but I uh, got a new second wind here today, and I am just looking forward to getting to show day. But anyways, really just wanted to show you my hair. She did a great job. I know I say this a lot, but seriously, my carpet meal is delicious. Butternut squash, cinnamon, honey, butter, that's crystallized honey salt I put on there, chicken thighs. I'm so ready for this. This is the first, the last, this week, definitely, I'm ready to be done with prep. I want to eat something different. Even though this food is delicious, I'm actually just now starting to want some variety. Mm -hmm. 